I started folding origami from books when I was a kid, uh, and it went on for a while. I would get new books and fold more complicated models. But it wasn't until I went to an actual origami convention that I realized that I might be able to make my own things and, and design my own pieces. And eventually, uh, I was folding these abstract sculptures that I started calling art. If there's one big idea that someone could take away from my work, it's that small, simple things can build up to large and complex structures. All I do really is pleat paper. I make a fold in a piece of paper, and then I make another. And a sequence of those folds creates these curved and complex shapes that end up being interesting to look at. The technique is almost always the same, a sequence of pleats. It's that sequence itself that determines the final shape. How does this work? Why, why does it do that? It's just a piece of paper. Most artworks that are interesting to me either tell me something about the world or make me ask questions. So if there's one thing I hope a viewer of my work goes away with, it's asking questions about it and, and being inspired to think new thoughts and, and uh, turn on the creativity and, and maybe come up with new ideas.